Microsoft Flight Simulator is on the horizon with Asobo Studios confirming their plans to release a closed beta by the mid of July. From the trailers and several screenshots of the alpha testers, one thing is for sure. The textures and the detailing looks amazing in the Microsoft Flight Simulator and sometimes I wonder, will my PC be able to handle all this kind of detailing? I'm sure some of you have the same doubt, so let's find it out. Asobo Studios announced the system requirements for Microsoft Flight Simulator a few weeks back and this is how it looks like. The minimum specification required for the Microsoft Flight Simulator to run is a Ryzen 3 1200 or an Intel i5 4460 processor, a Radeon RX 570 or an Nvidia GTX 770 GPU, a 2GB of VRAM, 8GB of RAM, 150GB of hard disk space and a 5Mbps bandwidth. And if you don't know, Microsoft Flight Simulator requires internet connection to run. Now this is not mandatory. The entire planet is modeled for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now it's impossible to store the whole data in your PC because it's almost up to 2 petabytes of data. So what the simulator does is it streams the sceneries from the servers real time as you fly in the simulator. And the amount of sceneries loaded depends upon the bandwidth you have, which means you will need a high speed internet for your simulator to look cool like we see in the trailers. You can also fly without an internet connection but this then loads a default scenery from your hard drive which may not look that great. Now the recommended spec for the Microsoft Flight Simulator is a Ryzen 5 1500X or an Intel i5 8400 processor, a Radeon RX 590 or an Nvidia GTX 970 GPU, 4 GB of VRAM, 16 GB of RAM, 150 GB of hard disk space and a 20 Mbps bandwidth. Now the ideal specifications for the Microsoft Flight Simulator describes a PC which may burn a hole in your pocket if you try to own one. The Ryzen 7 Pro 2700X or an Intel i7 9800X CPU, a Radeon 7 or Nvidia RTX 2080 GPU, VRAM of 8 GB, RAM of 32 GB, hard disk space of 150 GB, they also recommend an SSD instead of a hard disk drive, and a bandwidth of 50 Mbps. Will your PC be able to handle the new Microsoft Flight Simulator? Let me know what you think in the comment box below. And the next video in the feature discovery series of Microsoft Flight Simulator will be coming in 3 days. So I will be bringing you updates about that after 3 days. And for more updates on Microsoft Flight Simulator, subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. And if you really liked my video, you can also hit that thumbs up button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.